displacement velocity and acceleration so this is the third and the last video on the problem which we are trying to understand which is relating displacement velocity and acceleration uh, in different ways trying to understand its equation and its graphical representation so the question here is position of an object along a linear path is defined by s of t equals to minus 5 t square plus 30 t where t is in seconds and s is in meters now g part is find the acceleration at t equals to 6 and t equals to 10 and h is when is the object slowing down and speeding up right so let's try to understand these parts of the same question where we understood what is velocity what is uh, moving in one direction or the other direction what is distance and what is displacement now we are introducing acceleration and trying to understand when are you really accelerating that is slowing down or speeding up okay so that is how these two questions are related so we have s of t the displacement as minus 5 t square plus 30 t right now you understand velocity is basically first derivative of displacement so we write first derivative and we get minus 10 t plus 30 and acceleration is second derivative of displacement so we get minus 10 so we get all the three in one shot it's so simple as that so higher order derivatives is not a really difficult topic to do now once you've gone through these videos that should be the simplest thing which you've come across in calculus so far right and hopefully you enjoyed this journey right now s of t let me sketch it now very fast since you know how it is s of t we worked out that it was a graph kind of like this correct so here we said well if if we factor this then it is minus 5 t as a common factor minus 5 t so we we are left with t minus 6 and so we know this point is 0 and that is 6 and we had a maximum at t equals to 3 and the value was s of 3 so we'll write that also here s of 3 is equals to when I put in 3 here minus 15 and 3 times or 3 minus 6 is minus 6 so minus 15 type times minus 6 will give me 45 meters right so this point was 45 meters for for me so I'll write here s of 3 equals to 45 okay and the units for displacement is in meters for velocity meters per second and acceleration will be meters per second square so that's my displacement graph okay and then velocity it is y intercept of 30 with a slope of minus 10 right so we start let's say this is my value 30 and 10 is the slope so in three seconds you'll come back to zero right so that helps to draw our second graph which is velocity so we get a velocity graph here which is a straight line something like this right so this we say is a velocity graph which starts from here oh which is 30 meters per second right so we are calling this as velocity graph let me write down here as v of t right that's the velocity graph so we know from here velocity graph we can plug in few values and find what the value is so v of 0 we found 0 means 30 and if I place 3 here which will be 0 and if I do v of 6 here then minus 30 so we get a negative value do you understand so at 6 kind of here we'll get minus 30 meters per second for velocity okay now for acceleration what do we get for acceleration acceleration is minus 10 all throughout so somewhere here let's say this is my acceleration and this is minus 10 so this is minus 10 and that is in meters per second square so we have three different graphs on the same coordinate system kind of but with since the units are different we are not writing anything on on the y-axis as a unit but only y I think will work right now from this graph we have to figure out 
when is the object slowing down and when it is speeding up. So the whole exercise was done to understand just one thing and that is that is very simple and let me write it down here we want to know when is it slowing down and when is it speeding so this is what we are trying to know so we will start with speeding up let's say we are moving north and we are accelerating so when you are moving north then velocity is positive so velocity is greater than zero and accelerations we are just speeding accelerating that means it is greater than zero and you know you are speeding up so we say we are speeding up that's perfect so what we notice is that the direction is same for both if both are positive we are speeding up how about going north how about going south this is about north right so when we were going south then velocity will be less than zero because south is negative direction for us and again we accelerate we again accelerate that means we are speeding up right but the acceleration will be considered less than zero it is a high number higher and higher but more negative since the direction south is considered to be negative so we're not talking about magnitudes at this time we are talking about vectors with direction so both are negative and we know we are speeding up so i think that explains how to find speeding up right and of course if we are not speeding then either we are standing at one position or we are slowing down correct so standing at one position is kind of critical for us so we'll write v equals to zero here v equals to zero is means we are standing at one position nothing doing or temporarily it could be a turning point so let me write turning point that's a good word to use here turning point velocity zero okay great before and after it could be slowing down or speeding up so for speeding up we can figure out velocity and acceleration both with same signs so this is kind of very critical thing which we learned just now so both velocities so we'll consider these two graphs right and say both with same sign so let me draw this because there is a change here do you see a change velocity is positive before this but negative thereafter so that is a critical line for us which will demarcate when are we speeding and when are we slowing down so if you see before this that means let me draw speeding up with 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 some positive color so let it be green okay so so we are this so we are kind of in this region 0 to 3 we see okay this is actually negative acceleration here so anyway so i've drawn a line below zero so that kind of indicates negative okay <laughs> so what is happening here is velocity is positive but acceleration is negative they are opposite sign so if they are opposite sign then that means we are slowing down we are not here right so what we find is their opposite sign so 0 to 3 comes here but after 3 what happens after 3 is high alert area so let me draw this with a different ink which will be let's say orange right okay so after 3 both are negative you see this is negative this is negative so both are negative after 3 and we say this is speeding up so from 3 onwards as it moves infinitely we are speeding up but in short what we can say from here and take our learnings to the coming questions to answer and for thereafter that if the velocity and accelerations are both positive or both negative we are speeding up but if velocity is greater than zero but acceleration is less than zero or other way velocity is less than zero but acceleration is greater than zero then we are slowing down okay so slowing down is two different signs when you multiply you get negative that means slowing down so we have different signs here for velocity and acceleration and here same sign for velocity and acceleration so if both are in the same direction same sign both positive or both negative in that case it is speeding up and if both are in opposite direction as you see from 0 to 3 both are opposite direction right so they are slowing down so this is how we answer these kinds of questions 
I hope with the help of these three videos you have understood. 1. Given equation displacement, how to represent it graphically in Cartesian coordinates right, or in a straight line, linear path. How to find displacement or velocity or acceleration at different times. It's just substitution of value. How to relate speed or I should say velocity with displacement. That should tell you whether the object is approaching or is going away or how can we relate velocity and acceleration to find whether the object is speeding or slowing down. I hope that helps to do rest of the chapter in a very easy way. Thank you and all the best.